Okay. So here we go. Here's my problem. Now remember, guys, this is over 1, so it is a fraction. So the denominators uh, are x plus 1, and that can't be 0, and x plus minus 2, that can't be 0, and the other one is 1, that can't be 0. So this is a constant, makes no sense, because 1 can never be 0. This tells me that x can't be minus 1, x can't be 2, it can be anything other than those two. The LCD is just going to be the product of these two guys because they have nothing in common and it's going to be x plus 1 times x minus 2. So if I take the problem x over x plus 1 plus 4 over x minus 2 equals, and it's really 3 over 1. I have a left-hand side, because that's my equal sign, and a right-hand side. You're going to multiply the left by x plus 1 times x minus 2, and the right by x plus 1 times x minus 2. Then you use a distributive property, x plus 1, x minus 2, times the first term. x plus 1, x minus 2, times the second term. And then you're going to have 3 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. I'm going to, have to, I'm going to multiply these two together, because nothing reduces out. So this is going to be x squared minus x minus 2. Notice here x plus 1 reduces out. So you're going to have 3x times <coughs> x minus 2 plus the x minus 2's reduce out you have 4 times x plus 1 equals, now I'm going to, well, I can multiply through by 3. This is 3x squared minus 3x minus 6. <coughs> Remove parentheses, I get 3x squared minus 6x plus 4x plus 4 equals 3x squared minus 3x minus 6. Now I'm getting down to the solve the equation. Yes? So, really no, no. Go ahead. Okay. On the left, you just um, multiplied everything is what you did. You yes. Removed I removed parentheses by multiplying the first by 3x and then the second by 4. Now combine like terms, I get 3x squared and minus 6x plus 4x is minus 2x plus 4 equals 3x squared minus 3x minus 6. Start to solve the equation. Take 3x squared from both sides. And I say yippee because the x squared is add to 0. So minus 2x plus 4 equals minus 3x minus 6. Now bring all my x's to one side, all my numbers on the other. Add 3x. Are you really quick? Um, where it says 3x squared minus 6x, and then the equation like right below, what happens to that 6x? Uh, if you take minus 6x and plus 4x, that's going to be a minus 2x. Mm -hmm. So x plus 4 equals <coughs> minus 6. Subtract 4 from both sides. And you get x equals minus 10. 
Now we know that x cannot be negative 1 and x cannot be 2. But what did we get? negative 10. So we got x equal negative 10. So we are okay. So we have a solution and that's x equal negative 10.